It's Monday, February 13th, and if you're always checking to see how close you are to bumping into your cell phone plan's data cap, well, Verizon feels your pain, and for just $80 a month, says they can make it all better. That's right, the unlimited plan is back. The last time it let the data flow freely was seven years ago, but with competing carriers now offering unlimited data plans in some form or another, it looks like Verizon didn't want to be left out in the cold. Asterisks? Of course there are. One is that Verizon will start to throttle your unlimited data once you burn through 22 gigs of it, but they also say streaming video is going to be HD quality, a definite plus. T-Mobile CEO John Ledger tweeted out his disapproval of Verizon's plan, saying it might be, quote, the most expensive ever. Let's hope competition between carriers remains unlimited as well and drives those prices down. Google Maps is the go-to helper for millions, maybe billions of people, and now Google is hoping you'll take a few seconds to share your favorite places with the rest of the world so we can have some fun too. They've added a sharing feature to the Maps app, so once you find the best spot for tater tots in your town, you can spread the love. In fact, you can share your entire list of favorite tater tot spots with anyone and everyone if you're on a real tater tots jag. Sharing is caring, Google said in a blog post. Really, they said that. So hit the link for a quick primer on how to use the new feature. Wireless charging for the upcoming iPhone 8 or iPhone X or whatever it's going to be called is looking more like a thing following news that Cupertino has joined the Key Wireless Power Consortium, a sort of underwriter's laboratory for companies that make or want to make stuff that charges up wirelessly. Wireless charging for the upcoming new iPhone has been rumored from the start, with gossip ranging from a typical close-range charging system to perhaps a new wide-range whole-floor or whole-house technology first developed by Nikola Tesla decades ago. That kind of system could charge the phone while it's in your pocket or bag, but could require a substantial hardware setup, so we'll see. Hey, just seven months to go. That's it for DT Daily today. Be sure to check out our Facebook page and YouTube channel. We'll be back again tomorrow.